Hammer Bowling. Nothing hits like a hammer. The gas mask core is back and better than ever. This high differential medium RG core has been wrapped in an all new cover stock. The Grand Theft cover stock is the most versatile cover stock ever put on a hammer ball. Seeing is believing. You will see several cover stock finishes in the video showcasing how great this ball performs. Hammer has also developed a new HD color process that will make this ball catch your eye. Hammer's newest high performance bowling ball, the Taboo, is a must have in every bowler's bag. The Taboo uses the new HD color process to blend purple, black, and neon blue into the best looking ball in bowling. Now let's watch some of our amateur staff throw the new Taboo on Kegel's middle of the road lane pattern. This pattern has a heavy oil in the center of the lane blending into a medium oil out toward the gutter. On this pattern, the taboo creates a strong, continuous hook from the back end all the way through the pins. This is Kim Mann's taboo high performance ball. It's drilled with a 2 and 3 quarter inch pin distance, a 60 degree mass bias angle, and a 2 and 3 quarter inch pin to VAL distance. With the pin down drilling, she should see early movement and a smooth back end ball reaction out of the taboo. Hey Kim, let's talk a little bit about that shot right there. Okay. Um, you know, obviously the Taboo is a much stronger product than the Jigsaw Trap. What did you see the Taboo doing that the Jigsaw Trap maybe wasn't doing so well? Well, to me, it read a little bit earlier, so I had to bump in a little bit to get that head oil, to get it to go down the lane, and I still had the back end to deal with, unlike the trap. So I, I had to move in quite a bit more from where I was throwing the, the trap. Very obvious from watching you throw those two bowling balls that that's what was going on. Um, you know, the Taboo is such a, uh, an aggressive product oh, yeah. that you can move in with that bowling ball, and it's still going to pick up and keep going. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Sean drilled his taboo just like his jigsaw trap for the video, pin distance of 5 inches with a 45 degree mass bias and a 4.5 inch distance to his VAL. With the lower pin position we'll see earlier roll than the other players in the video with good continuous movement down lane. Yeah, that's good stuff, isn't it? That's great. You know, it's pretty obvious there that that ball uh, made a really good move. Yes. You know, what, what was your impression there? I definitely felt like I got that ball a little bit further right, but I, it had no no problem getting back to the box from there. It made my arm sling feel pretty loose there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>
This is Jeremy Hunt's Taboo Bowl. It has a 5 inch pin distance to his positive axis point combined with a 50 degree angle to the mass bias. With a 2 and a quarter inch pin to VAL distance, we should see a lot of length and strong downlink movement out of this pin up drilling. Jeremy, let's talk a little bit about that right there. Taboo, obviously a stronger piece in the trap, a more mid lane, more continuation. You know, what did you think about that ball going through the pins? Oh, it, it definitely goes through the pins well. And, uh, for me, this ball is more down lane than anything I've ever thrown. Yeah, it's, it's going to give you some more area, especially when you miss right. You know, if you get it in, it's still going to be able to pick up and hold pocket. Definitely a very usable product, looks like for you. Yes, yes. Good. Glad to hear it. Robert's Taboo is drilled for a lot of down lane motion, a 5 inch pin distance from his positive axis point and just a 30 degree angle to his mass bias, drilled just like the jigsaw trap that you're going to see in the video. It's a 2 and 3 eighths distance to the VAL, we'll see a lot of movement and a lot of strong overall hook out of this bowling ball. The Taboo was an extremely aggressive ball for Les Mann. It's a 4 and 7 8 inch pin to PAP with a 65 degree mass bias angle. 2 and 7 8 from the pin to the VAL gives Les a lot of down lane motion out of this Taboo. Wow, Les. Wow, it's an understatement. That pretty much sums up what that ball does. Great. Obviously a lot more hook. Um, you know, it was interesting to watch that ball once it made the move, how aggressively that change of direction, that angle actually increased, um, going all the way obviously to the Brooklyn side of the, of the lane there. Um, tell me a little bit about your thoughts on how it compared to the trap. Um, definitely it reads. Reads the mids a little better than what the trap. Trap went a little longer. Um, definitely was angular, but um, this gives a little earlier read, but actually with more continuation, I mean, it seems just like what you said. Once it starts, it, it keeps going. It, it never quit. stops, yeah. Yes. Thanks, man. Appreciate yep. that. Now that everybody's thrown the Taboo High Performance Ball, our new entry coming out in December, let's talk about the performance from top to bottom. All the staff players that threw it from Kim Mann all the way up to Robert Flunder. Yeah, you know, Jeff, they obviously saw a lot more hook. This ball's, what, four to five more than the trap? 
I mean, you got a lot more back end, a lot more continuation, very phenomenal product. You know, it was really interesting to watch. You saw Robert, when he had the ball dull and shiny, he could hook the whole lane with the ball, basically. Yeah, the guys really find a lot of versatility in this product. It can hook, you can play up the lane straighter with a little polished surface, and it looks really good on the shelf. This is the first ball that we've built with our new HD color system. We've got a nice fluorescent blue with some purple and black pigments in there. A really different looking product from Hammer Bowling. You know, that core cover combination, I think, with this particular product lends itself very well to all kinds of players. You know, you saw it with the straighties, you saw it with hook players, you saw it dull, you saw it sanded, soft polished. It didn't matter. I mean, everybody threw the ball could strike with it from most angles. Um, very, very versatile product. This is a really good product for you, Jeff. Yeah, absolutely. Our best product we've had in a long time. Definitely the most versatile, high performance product we've had. Check this out in your local pro shops from Hammer Bowling. Check Hammer out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and on hammerbowling.com. And remember, nothing hits like a hammer.